Hello guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another video. If this is the first time you've come onto my channel, then hi, I'm Sara. I make beauty and lifestyle content here on YouTube. And if you're new here, please take a moment to hit the subscribe button down below and join the Sara squad. And also click on the bell icon right next to it so that every time I upload a video, you get notified. For today's video, we are doing an old school makeup tutorial. I've not done a makeup tutorial in a very long time on my channel, and I do these more on my Instagram than I do on YouTube because I feel like people watch Instagram makeup videos more but if you like this video and if you enjoy this kind of videos let me know and I will do more of this because I genuinely like to sit down here explain my makeup steps and do it with y'all this is a very professional nude monochrome makeup look which is perfect for an everyday wear especially now that everybody is going back to their normal lives and going back to office and college and stuff so this is on those days that you want to look more put together so even if you're wearing a mask you will look very pretty above the mask as well and for your meetings and everything it's a very perfect everyday makeup look so if you're interested to know what I've used and how I got this makeup look then please keep on watching for any makeup to sit beautifully on your skin you have to prepare your skin really well for it skincare is very very important do not neglect your skincare if you're applying makeup so for cleansing my face before makeup I use the Dermaviv Hydra cleanser it cleanses out my pores really well it takes away all the excess oil and sebum and and pollution and dirt on my face and makes my face very spick and span and the next very bare minimum step I do is take a moisturizer this is the Nutriderm vitamin E moisturizer I take very little of this and massage it very well into my skin so my skin is prepared nice and ready and very moisturized and breathing well underneath my makeup on the days that I have to step out of the house which is definitely not the case right now because of the lockdown and the quarantine but if I have to step out, I also make sure that I'm applying sunscreen after moisturizer. So that is my last layer of skincare on my regular days. So if you're wearing this to office or a party or an event, make sure you're applying sunscreen no matter what time of the day it is, like day or night, whatever it is, apply sunscreen. I like to massage my skin well when I'm applying moisturizer. So my skin has all the necessary blood circulation and then I can head on with makeup and slather a lot of foundation and my skin will still look flawless. Yes, it is breaking out right now, but that's because it's that time of the month. Okay, so my skin is ready. Now let's dive into the first step and that is primer. For priming my face, I'm taking the Lakme Absolute Blur Perfect Primer. Now primer in itself is exactly what it says. It primes your face really well. Take very little of the product, not too much. You need very, very little. And basically concentrate this where your pores are. So, you know, from where you sweat the most, from where you get the most oils, just press it into your skin. Don't massage it. Just press, press, press and... Let that product sink into your skin so that once it does that, you will not be sweating excessively underneath your makeup. Okay, now that my skin is nice and ready, let's dive in for the kick of makeup and that is foundation. Foundation is a game changer. It will lay a nice base for your makeup to sit on and for your makeup to look flawless. It transforms your skin completely. So I like a very full coverage foundation and that is why I go for something like this. This is the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Foundation. I'm in the shade Golden Honey. So I will be mixing this foundation with this one right here. This is the Sugar Drop the Base Serum Foundation. So this is very lightweight if you're somewhat of a BB cream girl who wants very light coverage. You're just beginning into makeup. You have very flawless skin and you don't really need full coverage. Go for something like this. And if you have a lot of acne and you want to cover your skin up, go for something like this. So I'm going to mix the two up now. So I'll take like one pump of the NYX. I think I will need one and a half. And then I'm going to give a nice shake to the serum foundation. It's very, very hydrating. So my skin looks really good with this one. And I'm going to give two drops of that as well. Yes, I use a lot of foundation, but that's how I like my makeup. So I'm going to mix the two up. And I'm going to dot it across my face evenly. Not directly go in with my brush or beauty blender, just first even application. Don't forget your neck. You guys, we tend to forget our neck. Make sure you're even covering like your shoulders if those are visible, like whatever part of your body is visible. Try to even the skin tone out as much as possible. Now I'm going to take my brush and stipple this foundation all over my skin. So just go in dabbing motions just like you would with your sponge. Even if you're doing it with your finger, you can just go in patting motions. Don't try to do massage it because foundation is not moisturizer. You have to pat it into your skin. 
So just blend, blend, blend it all away. Also, don't forget to cover your ears with a little bit of foundation. Just make it look as natural and flawless as you can. For next step, I like to conceal and highlight the high points of my face. For that, you need a concealer. A concealer that is a little lighter, like one shade lighter than your foundation shade. And you just have to place a little bit of this underneath your eyes. This is the Wet n Wild uh, Photo Focus Concealer. Very affordable option. Just $3.99, I think. Place this on the bridge of your nose and on the forehead. Cupid's bow and also just a little bit here because it carves out your cheekbones, gives you that snatched look. You can also use a little here. If you have a lot of hyperpigmentation around your mouth, it will help. Now taking a damp beauty sponge, you just have to blend it all into your skin really well. Again, go for dabbing motions. Do not pull or tug at your skin, especially the one underneath your eyes. If I feel like I've used too little, I can always go again and add more product. But if you use too much, it becomes very difficult to remove the product. So go with little and then you can build up from there. I'm happy with the rest of my face but I feel like my eyes need a little more brightening so I will go again with the concealer and build it up, conceal some more because I've not been sleeping well and look, I need it, I definitely need it. Coffee and concealer is what's keeping me going at this point. And I'm also placing some above on my eyelids because it will act as a primer so when we apply eyeshadow it will stick to the eyelids really well so it basically creates like the sticky sticky base for your eyeshadow so you can also do that if you're applying eyeshadow on a regular basis if you're not doing that you can just leave your eyelids bare so the hyper pigmented eyelids look like eyeshadow so now after all the cream products are done we need to set it in place so for that i'm using the mini so mini pony loose powder you need a loose powder or a compact powder and a brush and just take a little bit of powder and like dust it all over your face. I like to concentrate my powder where I apply concealer. I don't go all over my face with powder but you can like just take a loose hand and dust it all over the face. Doesn't really matter. It will just help your makeup last longer because if you don't apply powder it's just gonna move throughout the day and when you sweat it will transfer on your tissue paper when you wipe it. So make sure you are powdering your face really well. Next step is bronzer. Now this is optional but I love to apply bronzer on my skin. It makes my skin look nice, warm and also gives a nice definition to my face. So I'm using the NYX Matte Bronzer. This is in the shade Medium and you just have to place this above your cheekbones over here so it adds that patla snatched look to your face and just place a little bit on your forehead as well. So it makes your forehead look smaller, blend it into your hairline. Just push the product into your hairline really well. Just use backward strokes to push the product back into your face. So the more product you push back, the more your face will look chiseled. Now while you have your bronzer in the hand, just take a small crease brush and just apply this bronzer in your crease as well. What it will do is lay a nice a uh, nude like a monochrome feel happening that what's on your face is on your eyes so just go in your crease and it blends your face really well together this looks very professional very nice for office and even for parties why not uh, if you're wearing a nice nude gown this would look so simple and elegant we will do more for the eyes later but for now you can just place the bronzer on your eyelid next step is blush so for that I'm taking the wet and wild color icon blush this is in the shade mellow wine a very nice rouge mauve nude color and looks very very pretty so take a stippling brush place it on your cheekbones you don't have to really smile for this just place this on your cheekbones i really like to apply my blush even on the nose nowadays it looks very pretty very girly feminine and nice so you can load up on the blush as much as you like like some people like a very minimalist blush i like to go all ham and make it look like really you know i'm blushing from within but that's definitely not the case so Next step is to add that glow back to your face and for that I use a highlighter. This is the Revolution Makeup Revolution Shimmer Brick. Take a highlighter brush, go all over, go all hand with the step. Just like blush, highlighter is a very personal thing. Go as much as you can take. A 
Okay, let's move on to the eyes. So I will zoom you guys in now. Starting with my eyebrows, I'm taking the Miss Claire eyebrow pencil and I'm just gonna fill in my brows really quickly. For eyeshadow, I'm taking the NYX Warm Neutrals eyeshadow palette. It's a very good neutral palette if you don't like a lot of bling in your eyeshadow. This is the perfect palette for you. It has a good mix of both mattes and shimmers inside. And I'm first gonna start with this particular shade right here. It has a nice brown mud tone undertone to it taking this on the pack one to two brush and i'm going to lay it on my crease where we've already applied bronzer so it's just going to overlap the crease really well take it all the way in and out and just let this be your transition shade next i'm going to take a darker color the one right above this shade and i'm going to put this color on my outer corners so just next to my lash line just place it there and then buff it in and around that area I like to give my eyes that um, like snatched look so after concentrating it in this area I like to give it a nice flick so it looks nice and blended and seamless and doesn't look very obvious. Now for the lid shade you can go for a shimmer if you're going and wearing this makeup to a party or an event and you want to look more glamorous you can go for a shimmer shade like these like sparkly colors but since I'm doing more of an office outfit look so you can go for a matte like this or a mix of this and this which is nice and light so when you place it on your lid your lids will look nice and open your eyes will look more open and I have very small eyes so this is the trick that I do to make my eyes look bigger so just place this lid shade on the inner half and it will just instantly open up your eyes now for the last step I like to take like a dark brown shade like this like a charcoal brown and use this as an eyeliner instead of actually using an eyeliner just place this very close to your lash line so it looks more natural and doesn't look very uh, obvious like an eyeliner is very sharp and defined so in the morning if you don't have much time this is a nice quick step to just define your eye look or your eyes in general by taking an eyeshadow you can do this step with black eyeshadow as well, but brown just looks more natural. For the very last step, you need a highlighting shade. So I'm going to take something like this, which is a nice sparkly color. So even if you've not used sparkle all over your eyelid, just using a little sparkle shade to highlight your inner corner. Just place it close to your inner like tear duct with a small brush or even your pinky finger and on your brow bone right underneath your arch of the brow place it there finishing up with the eyes I'm gonna curl my lashes and then add some mascara taking the essence lash princess mascara and coating my lashes really well from top to bottom you can very well leave your look right here but I'm gonna take a nude eyeliner to just use this on my waterline so this also will help my eyes open up a lot more a kajal always makes your eyes look smaller a nude coal always makes it look more open so this is the nude coal by Colourpop in the shade Honey Dude with that we finished most of the look now all we have left is lipstick so I'm gonna zoom you guys out and let's select a lipstick that matches well with this look for my lips I'm taking the sugar lipping on the edge lip liner this is in the shade wooded by nude okay so I've placed this on the outer periphery of my lips and to fill it inside and to fill my lips I'm taking the nude sticks nudies all over face bronze color in the shade sunkissed just gonna place this on the inside of my lip Alrighty guys, so this is it. This completes the nude monochrome makeup look which is perfect for office or even college for that matter. If you want to look a little more professional and more uh, put together on those days that you have to present something in college or you have like a big time meeting, this is just the look for you. Let me know in the comments what do you guys think about this makeup look. If you did actually like this video, please don't forget to hit the like button. Also share this video with your friends and family so that we can make the Sarah squad even larger 
For today's video, the Sarah Squad shout out goes to Sierra Jameson. Thank you so much, Sierra, for watching and supporting my channel. If you want to be a part of next video Sarah Squad shout out, then all you have to do is hit the subscribe button, the bell icon right next to it, and also leave a comment down below saying hashtag Sarah Squad, and you'll get a chance to be a part of my next video Sarah Squad shout out. Thank you so much, you guys, for watching. Stay home, stay safe, and take care. Bye, guys. Love you all. Mwah.